Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set the screen resolution or change it in a shipped game. So normally you could just use console commands. So I, if I press play here, obviously you do this through blueprints, but if you just type set res and then 1920 by 1080, that will set it to full screen. Obviously it won't because I'm not in a standalone game, but you can do that through button press and blueprints and stuff. But if you ship the game, so you package it, then that won't work because the console command is disabled in a shipped game. So as you can see, that then does that. But if we want to use a shipped game, not a development, then we won't have console command. So we'll need to use something else to change the resolution, which we're going to be using the game user settings. So to get started, we need to actually create the game user settings. So you're going to want to go into the folder where you have all your game files saved, so where you made it, and then go into the config file here and then we're just going to want to make a new config file here. So it's called a .ini file. So we just right click, create new, and then we go down to text document and make sure that you call this default game user settings, exactly like that. And I'll have this linked in the description below so you can just copy and paste as well as what you need to put inside it as well. So I'll open that up and then copy and paste this in there from the description. And this is just the basic, just for changing the resolution. So you can add more things in that you want in the user settings. But for this tutorial, this is all we need. So then save that. So file, save as. And then we're going to keep the name the same, but change it to all files like so. And then just put dot .ini on the end like that. And hit save, close that. And that is that now done. And because obviously we saved it as, we now have two of these, so I just delete the one which is just a normal text document, open this up, and now we have that there. So now if we go back into Unreal Engine, and we open up, and you open up where you want to change it, so if it's on a main menu, on a button press or something, you open that up. So I'm just going to make that now. So I just make a user widget blueprint, I'm just going to call it main menu widget. Obviously you'll probably already have this all set up, but just in case you don't, I'm going to now, and I'm not going to make it anything special, I'm literally just going to have one button in the middle of the screen and have it so that when you press that, it happens. It changes the resolution. So I have to open the level blueprint as well, and just get event, begin play, create widget, and then the main menu widget I just made, and add to viewport like so. Hit compile, and I can then just close this. So now for this button, we're going to go down to onclicked, get that off, and an onclicked button. So after the onclicked on event, we're just going to drag off and get game user settings, like so. And then off the return value, we're going to set screen resolution. And then also off the return value, we're going to just apply resolution settings and then plug that, that into there. And then for the target resolution we're going to just going to right click the blue node here for resolution and split structure pin. So now we can set it to what we want. So I'm going to set this one to 1920 by 1080 like so. And then I'm going to have another one which just goes to 1280 by 720. So I can just go between them to show you and obviously you can have as many as you want for as many different resolutions as you want but these are two main ones that I'm going to have as well. So this one I'll have as 1920 by 1080 I've just put some text on there so I can see it better change it to black like so and then I'll just get another button for 1280 by 720 and I'll just do the same thing again So do that, and then off the button, off on clicked, I'll just plug that into here. So I just duplicated it down and changed the resolution there. And then we're also just going to add off of apply resolution settings, get the return value for get game user settings, and we're also just going to add apply settings. And we only want this for the bottom one because for some reason in a recent update they've changed it so that now this doesn't just work on its own because this will then just set it to 1920 by 1080 as well. 
I'm not sure why, and it may work in a packaged game rather than just in the editor, but just this used to work, and now it doesn't unless you put apply settings on the end of only this one. So again, don't ask me why, because I don't know, it's just Unreal sometimes just changes stuff, and for some reason stuff doesn't work anymore, which theoretically should, but just add apply settings on the end of there. Then if we hit compile, close this, and then play the game in a standalone game, so we can actually change the resolution, wait for it to load up, you should see that this now works without the use of console commands, meaning that it will then work in a shipped game. So here I have my buttons and the main menu, but obviously, but because I haven't set up the main menu properly because it was just for this, I haven't set it up so you can use the mouse cursor, so I'll just do that now. So we just go back into level blueprint, where we have the main menu, and then I'll just turn off context sensitive and get a set show mouse cursor and put that to true and obviously you'll just untick that when you get rid of your main menu and don't want the mouse cursor anymore and then for the target we're just going to do get player controller like so hit compile there we go now if we try this again so play standalone game we should see that this should now work. So yeah, we've got the mouse cursor again now. If we hit 1920 by 1080, it goes to full screen like so. And 1280 by 720 goes to that resolution too. And you can just flick between these two as much as you like. You found that one, it'll stay the same. But on this one, we'll stay the same. And again, you can add as many different resolution sizes as you want. And in the proper options menu or main, or main menu, however you want. But this is the only ones I've got for now. And so this works perfectly fine for me. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've got to do everything we want it to do. We've got two buttons to change between 1920 by 1080 resolution and 1280 by 720 resolution. And this works in a shipped game as well as development game as it doesn't rely on the use of console commands. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. It helps me out quite a lot. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.